What's your opinion on plastic surgery and Botox and things like that? Well, um, I, I don't think that I would have, I don't blame anyone for doing it. Yeah. And I think, unfortunately, our industry makes people so image conscious yeah. that they will do it. Um, I, I wouldn't do it, I don't think. Um, I'm, you know, but I never say never. Um, I do have things burnt off my skin because I'm starting to get what my um, dermatologist kindly calls mature spots. I said, oh. just use the word age. <laughs> Enough with the mature. Um, uh, age spots. So I do, and because being very fair, and of course growing up in the time where we just burnt and then yes. peeled it off and burnt again, yeah. um, I've had skin cancers cut out. So I've had a couple of little bits of surgery on my back and my arms for that, but I don't think... That's I've different than Botox, though. Yes, but I, I, I don't think I would have Botox. There was a moment last year where I was worried about the lines around my mouth because um, I've never smoked or anything like that, and that tends to give you those lines around yes, your mouth. Yeah. And I, I was noticing them quite a lot on camera, but I've sort of gone off the idea now. Yeah. I, I, I rang up to make an appointment to get them filled just here, and then I thought, oh, that's going to hurt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And why put yourself through it? And so now I don't really notice them. Do you feel pressure like with other... Because I've read that you said in America there, it's a bit um, more generous to you know, oh. for women who are, you know, 65, where there are roles, there's presenting roles, and there yes. seems to be there a bit more, you know, I guess. And England too. I mean, they, uh, here we still are, because we're a young country, I think, this is my theory, we still are a bit youth mm. involved. And so the minute anyone gets over the age of 35, a woman particularly, I mean, men yeah. can be as ugly as you like yeah. on television and as old as you like. I mean, God love him, the late Brian Naylor was on until he was nearly 70. Mm. Good looking man, but he was lined and, and Mel Walden, yes. you know, um, but the, you, we don't have too many older news no. readers. I wonder who would be the oldest. You're so Probably right. Joe Hall. And she still reads sometimes. And so she'd be in her 50s though. Yes. Yeah, but that would be the oldest. There, you won't, wouldn't see a woman in her 70s on Australian television reading the yeah. news. Um, and in, in America, it's interesting, it's, you know, my friend Jackie Weaver has done so well yes. and has done so well at the age, well, she's, I'm happy to say, a year older than me <laughs> uh, and looks it. Um, <laughs> sorry, Jax. Uh, but she, uh, you know, became had her big break overseas when she was in 60, 61 or something. Mm, and yeah. one of the reasons that she's doing so well in America is because she's one of the few 65, 66 year old women that looks her age yeah, or right. looks even vaguely in the area. I don't know if you've ever watched Parenthood. Am I talking too much? <laughs> um, no, this is where you come to talk. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay, okay. Um, uh, uh, a, a, a show called Parenthood, which is an English, uh, American show, Bonnie Bedelia, who I used to love as an actor. She oh, was just so gorgeous. Well, she's gone away in the, in the break, in the hiatus, as right. they call it, in LA. Uh, she's gone away and she's had everything lifted. Yeah. And she's come back and she's, she actually looks younger than her two daughters now. Wow, yeah. And she shot through linoleum as well. You know, they just got so much Vaseline on that lens. Yeah. And you go, well, why would you do that to yourself? Well, no, it's, a, it's a fine line, isn't it? I get why people want to do it. I've had Botox myself. Oh, have you? Yeah, well, but not, you're I'm baby. feeding. I know, but I got, I, I said this story, but I got, I had really shocking migraines and so oh. I tried Botox. Okay. But after it, I loved that my face didn't move. And so I got a bit, a bit more. Like that. A bit <laughs> like Only that. in my forehead. <laughs> and then I fell pregnant though and you can't, so I haven't had it for ages. Oh, and it, and it shows I too. Know. <laughs> God, the lines on your face. Whoa. But, you, but that's like when I was maps like, of West Preston. <laughs> yes. I get that things like that actually do get addictive because I did it for medical reasons and I'm like, I like that my forehead, I have a large forehead. I used to get funky forehead at school. That was my mm. nickname. Oh, nice. And so I got all the lines gone and I, I was like, should I get that people get into the trap of going, you know, I'm going to keep doing this and then you'd go from one thing to another. And yes, but I think... If you start something like that, it's like anything, if you start something like that, you just, you either have to keep doing yes. it.